capacity crowd is making its way inside AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, folks, where we are just about a half hour away from kickoff of our Thanksgiving Day matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Dallas Cowboys. And for the hometown fans, this game is a continuation of a Thanksgiving tradition. There's Dak Prescott. He's playing well this year. There he is doing the Dak dance. Boomer, that old stiff body of yours, if you did this, you'd be on our baby. <laughs> and there's Josh Allen playing his best football of the year. The last six games, he's got 14 touchdowns and only one turnover. And there's Ezekiel Elliott. As you at home are running back for oh, seconds, yeah. this running back plans to eat the Bills' defense. Hey, Bill, no, it is Thanksgiving. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Try to be nice. There's Cole Beasley. He's being nice right there to his former teammates. Played seven years in Dallas. Is finally getting on the same page with Josh Allen, his quarterback. And hello, everyone, <laughs> and a very happy Thanksgiving to all. We certainly pray that you're enjoying some quality uh, time with your loved ones. I'm James Brown. Welcome to the NFL Today powered by Ram Trucks. I'm joined at the desk by my festive foursome, <laughs> Phil, Coach Nate, and Boomer. Look, I know this is a short show, Coach, but are, are you we're, optimistic? We're good. We're good, JP. You're good? We okay. Got to stop. <laughs> Bubble Hips is good, too. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? This game has lots of storylines, and uh, Jason Garrett uh, is right at the top. He really is. You know, uh, Jer uh, Jerry Jones did a lot of talking this week, and yep. one of the things he said is, I want Jason to get it done. So he is feeling the pressure now, not only from the owner, but his general manager, who happens to be the same player, or the yeah. same person, Jerry Jones. And Jerry Jones has been doing a lot of talking, Nate, as I know you talked to him yesterday in the NFL Network. I did. I talked to him and I put the pressure on him. I said, listen, Dak Prescott is leading the league in passing. He's going to lead your Cowboys to his third division title in four years. Why haven't you paid this man? And after saying it was about the wins, he dropped the mic on me and said, I've never been known to catch a camp well, a cramp while writing a big check. <laughs> he's, he's talking about wins. Dak has played four teams with winning records, okay? They are 0-4 in those games. Dak has more interceptions than he has touchdowns. So maybe, you know, Jerry's kind of waiting to see what happens. This right. could be a statement game today going against the 8-3 Bills. Okay, enough about the Cowboys. Let's talk about the Buffalo Bills. There he is, Josh Allen, a reliable quarterback. That's what he's become this year. The last six games, 10 touchdowns, one interception. What does he need to do today? He needs a couple big runs, which he does very well. Well, and we need to see a couple of those dynamic throws down the field with that big right arm. And we'll be looking for that, Phil. But right now, it's time to go inside the pregame HQ delivered by Domino's. And for more news on Jason Garrett's future in the Big D, we welcome in our NFL Today insider, Jason Lockenfora. JB, Jerry Jones has been telling associates since training camp he thinks he's built a Super Bowl roster. Anything less than a long playoff run will cost Jason Garrett his job. Now, no changes are happening in season, but... Boom, you know all about private planes. Very short ride from <laughs> Dallas to Norman, oh, Oklahoma. Man. I know Jerry's a really big fan of what Lincoln Riley's doing with the Sooners. What is this? Take this shot of Boomer? Thank you. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, guys. Love seeing you guys. There's Frank Gore, oh. the third all-time leading rusher in NFL history, 36 years old, 15 years. What an addition he has been to the Buffalo Bills. The NFL Today on CBS Sports is powered by... Ram Trucks. Time now for a Thanksgiving Day edition of Golden Moments brought to you by McDonald's. Back in 2010, the Tennessee Titans drafted defensive end Derek Morgan in the first round, but four games into his career, a devastating knee injury ended his rookie season. Thankfully, he was able to return and enjoy nine years in the league. But interestingly, he treasured the time while he was inactive as a blessing because it got him thinking about life after football. Now that he's armed with an MBA and a desire to help others, Derek's first Thanksgiving without the game finds him at home where his heart is. This is Coatesville, Pennsylvania, 38 miles west of Philadelphia. Growing up in, in a place like Coatesville, as a kid, you're like, what, what are my options? Who are you? What's going to be your mark on this world? It looks like any American town, but Coatesville is a steel town. This city sits in the richest county in Pennsylvania, and we're sitting inside the steel mill right now. You know, this hasn't been operational in decades. There ain't nothing here. There ain't really ain't nothing here. I can complain about this or I could be a part of an example of how to do this in the right way. Coatesville today seemingly appears to be a place that time forgot. One of the town's last big industry efforts was creating the steel for the World Trade Center, the only image left standing at ground zero. 
But you don't need a monument to be reminded of the resiliency crafted here. You just need to know the people. You always hear stories about uh, people from home becoming a professional athlete and then, you know, they have no, no, no longer have a connection with everyone at home or the city at all. But he never lost that, that uh, connection with us. It's like a family. And you, you don't, who wants their family broken apart? Who wants their family not working together and not getting along? Um, so that's why this is really important that someone from the inside comes back. But it's back to the future for Derek Morgan. I'm glad to see what you're doing for us, man. Yeah, man. I'm here to support all of that. I appreciate that. He's managing partner of the Kingdom Impact Fund, a network of investors and developers with the goal of creating change in struggling areas. You actually want to see people do better. You want to see the community grow. Five years from now, ten years from now, this ain't going to look like this. I hope not, man. Uh, it ain't. Derek possesses a perspective that's transformative. He understands that a community like Coatesville is not simply a place where there only exists blight. The turnkey behind Derek's mission is the 2017 Federal Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, which created Opportunity Zone programs to encourage would-be investments in distressed communities. We also have some short-term visions that have actually been accomplished already because the Salon Sheer Beauty recently opened up and Derek has been instrumental in funding that. To me, it means everything to open a business in Coatesville. I've been living here pretty much my whole entire life. If you see it, it gives you a sense of hope that you could do that too. I actually had somebody come in here the week I opened, and so she asked me to sit down with her and talk to her about how I got started. And it gives you the belief in something where, hey, this isn't just um, some pie in the sky type of scenario. This is somebody who started their own business and is, and is thriving. With boots on the ground progress, Kingdom Impact has its eye on a grander plan. But I kept hearing the flats, the flats, the flats. It's this huge plot of land that's just being used for storage, where this could essentially revitalize the city through education, through health and wellness, through tourism, to create this holistic development. The sports complex and event center, you know, could be a multi-use right. space right there. All right, this looks good. It's at least a starting point. There are 25 acres that Mr. Morgan, and on behalf of Kingdom Impact, is going to purchase. When it comes to economic development, Derek brings a kind of value and the importance of moral values to economic development that often is not a part of the conversation. This is going to mean so much to all of us, but to the youth of Coatesville. This is the moment that we've been waiting for. All the adults are talking about what we think Coatesville needs. What do we want to see in Coatesville? We're looking at the next generation that's going to come up after us. We want you guys, as in the future of Coatesville, think about what you want for Coatesville. So think big, dream. This is what we've been waiting for. I mean, hope is what we need in order for us to go forward. We can all be thankful that, you know, Derek is able to come in and help this city grow. Really am thankful for having the opportunity to, to play a role in this. I'm really here for y'all. I'm here to see y'all have bright futures, and I believe in y'all. He's allowing the transformation of a community, which means there'll be generations of people grateful, not just this coming Thanksgiving, but in future Thanksgivings. Kudos to Derek Morgan, who embodies an old expression that says, you can get everything that you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want. Derek, along with others, are showing what teamwork in the game of life is all about. The NFL Today is sponsored by Walmart. Happy price, happy holidays. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And by Ram Trucks, built to serve. It's time to always be celebrating, presented by Pepsi. Dak Prescott dives in for the touchdown. Dak Prescott 
mascot is on fire. How about that? Pepsi calls for celebration is donating 100 meals to United Way for every touchdown celebration between kickoff and Thanksgiving. And to date, Pepsi has donated nearly 90,000 meals, partnering with 30 local United Ways to make an impact in communities around the country. And while Dak hopes to be celebrating on this Thanksgiving Day, the Bills' defense will have their hands full trying to stop him. They really will, J.B. This is going to be his 60th regular season start for the Dallas Cowboys. He's 38-21 and 21 with quite a record. And take a look at some of these numbers. These are things that he is number one in the NFL at, at the quarterback position. So he is having a tremendous year. He has made only $4.7 million mm. over his four-year span. That's like Phil's entire career. So <laughs> <laughs> a lot more money. Yeah. And as you know, uh, Josh Allen is having a great uh, comeback year as well. You're right about that. I mean, in his second season, he's playing more efficiency. I know, Coach, you mentioned it, the amount of touchdowns that he's thrown and then the lack of interceptions. Earlier in the season, he was a little reckless with the ball, but his legs are going to be key today. When things break down, look forward to him running faster than Phil oh, Sims yeah. when they put that Thanksgiving Damn, 100%. <laughs> uh, Sean McDermott, I tell you, you talk about top defenses. You do think about New England, San Francisco, but Buffalo is ranked third in the National Football League. I love what he's put together. The strength is their secondary, the ability to disguise. They are a great tackling defense, Phil, but you better be patient against them because, you know what, don't test their secondary. Maybe a little thin up front. Well, you know, we're going to show you Tredavious White. They are good tacklers because they're really fast. That really helps. But Tredavious White, why is he a big key? Because if there's a weakness on Buffalo's defense, it's stopping the run. Philadelphia ran for over 200 yards. Nick Chubb, Adrian Peterson, over 100 yards. So you got to Crowd that line of scrimmage, stop the run, put the pressure on those DBs to cover one-on-one. -on -one. And there's Demarcus Lawrence getting his guys going. Sign that big deal in offseason, only four and a half sacks this year. Today is the perfect game to prove he's worth every dollar. Time now for the NFL Today Picks presented by Allstate. A perfect time for some more mayhem, Bills or Cowboys. I say America gets reintroduced to Amari Cooper. Stephon Gilmore is not playing this game. You're right about that. He's going to get a lot of balls his way. I'm going with the Cowboys. Two career games on Thanksgiving. Zeke Elliott over 100 yards, three TDs. I'm going with the Cowboys. Jerry Jones made this a playoff game atmosphere. I'm going with the Dallas Cowboys. They said to be quick. That was too long. Jerry Jones, <laughs> I mean the Dallas Cowboys is who I'm taking to today's game. <laughs> Bills and Cowboys kick off just a few moments away. By the way, Good you and Andrew Bill. Womack on Thanksgiving and every day. Yeah. They are a blessing. Hey, folks, enjoy the game. And, Nate, what's the deal coming up now, Nate? We'll get everybody right here on CBS. Enjoy Thanksgiving, folks. Take a nap between meals. <laughs> That's key. <laughs> between meals.